Hi Joe, nice to finally meet you. Thank you for coming today and sharing us with your life with us. No problem. In high school, I played one year of basketball. I played freshman JV. I played one year of football, varsity. I played four years of baseball. Okay. My favorite sport was football, and it really hurt me once I graduated because I probably should play all four years of football. Cause yeah. Actually, I was actually pretty good at it, and I didn't think going into it, I didn't think I was going to be any good at all because I never played before. But that was probably my favorite sport. My favorite coach was the uh, actually the football coach. He was also the JV baseball coach, and just I had his class one year, so just getting to know him and like his son, he used to come to all the games. It was it was nice to finally get to like know one of my coaches personally, especially since I don't play rec leagues no more. It's hard to get to personally know a uh, high school coach, so that was good. My craziest moments. Uh, just a bunch of football stories like we used to get into arguments at football and people used to throw people's helmets in the puddles or throw them down the hill. Yeah. Uh, one of my craziest stories was actually freshman year for baseball. I, I was pitching and I went to go pick someone off at first base and I got him and then we went back to the dugout and my first baseman came to me like, you just made that kid poop his pants. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, he pooped his pants. I was like, no. I got back to the field, I think I walked, I got to first base, and the first base was like, yo, you made a kid poop his pants on our team. I was like, no, there's no way. I, he's like, yeah, he's not on the bench anymore. He had to go in the woods and change his pants. I was like, so that was something that never had happened to me before at any sport. Well, that's so that's crazy. probably the craziest moment ever. For baseball, like, the funniest moments for baseball for practice-wise was the days that we were playing good for like a good week and then we got to play with football at practice and that was just a relief because then we did, we could relax a little bit not focus on running sprints or working out or lifting weights so that was good um basketball it wasn't much fun that was like the hardest practices of all of them probably football the best practices were days we were actually able to hit because they changed the rules where you couldn't have a lot of contact in the week yeah. so like wednesdays and thursdays we were able to hit and that was fun Um, baseball, we didn't have any traditions really. Basketball, it was like certain songs we listened to before games or before practices. Um, football, we did have a tradition. We used to like have a chant that was taught to us by one of the former players, but he told probably our stupidest player and he kept messing up every single time he tried. So it was a tradition, it was a bad tradition, but yeah. we used to do it before every game. Before games, no. After games, we did. We used to make fun of our head coach a lot, which was the football coach, the JV baseball coach. He had a really bad lazy eye, yeah. and I used to be able to make, I able to make fun of him with the lazy eye, so I used to do that all the time behind his back. Yeah. Um, but other than that, there was a bunch of jokes that I probably can't say on camera, but we had a lot of jokes. The most embarrassing moment, like in high school sports, for me was. It was my freshman year, it was the last JV game of the season, we were playing one of our rivals, and going to the game, I was like, alright, I'm going to play a couple minutes like I've been doing, and then we got to the game, and the coach was like, yeah, you're starting, and I was like, no, you're joking, right? He's like, no, you're starting, I was like, ah, okay, so we start the game, it's going fine, I get, I get a pass on the baseline, I go to shoot it, and this kid just sends it into the bleachers, so hard, it, it, like, it was so bad, but uh, you know, I continue playing because that's what you have no other choice yeah. at that point. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's probably the most embo uh, embarrassing moment I had. Oh, all right, uh, Joe. Thank you again for no stopping by and sharing us your life at high school.